Oh man, Misha, what happened? Oh dude, man. I was trying to push the helicopter from here and uh, the wheel ran over my foot and I made the most lame fall you can ever imagine. Smacked up my knee really good. I don't know if he, uh, if he actually meant this or not. I hope so. We'll do it again. Frequency if we lose communication. We're gonna lose communication for sure. This is uh, jungle, country. This is very powerful, guys. Wow. Yep. That'll be intense. It'll be intense. Report the choice short final zero one match from the gold fake off a kilo. So zero one. Yeah, that way there. there. Right now. What see how many people yeah. in Panama are happy to be out and running right. or actually going to work or doing anything. And it's very sad to see there's a lot of really Buenas. sad people here. Buenos dias. Yeah. Buenos dias. Ah. By the way. That's our view there this morning. Right, hola, buenos dias. Beautiful here. Bien. Really nice. Hola. Oh man, let's buenos get this dias. day going. Man, we just got clearance to cross over the downtown city core of Panama at 1,000 feet, you guys. This is nuts. I, I, I kept asking, like, you, you sure? You sure? And he gave us clearance here at 1,000 feet. So we get to fly right over downtown Panama. Man, this is a treat. I don't know if he, uh, if he actually meant this or not. I hope so. Wow. Yes, he did. It was fear. For sure. A thousand feet or higher. Yeah. That's it. We are at 1100. This is awesome. Wow. Very nice. Panama Our City. Our hotel was down there somewhere. <laughs> Panama City. Look at this cool building here, you guys. Isn't that thing neat? Oh, man. Dude, we'll get a photo of that building right there. Wow. Uh, eight after departure, fly runway heading, wind 3408, clear for takeoff, runway zero one. Very nice, huh? Man, oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> so good. Here we go to Colombia. Oh, wow. Yeah, off Cartagena. to Colombia. Charlie Gulf, Echo Alpha Kilo, confirmer, are you going to continue your flight to yeah. Cartagena? Affirmative for Echo Alpha Kilo, we're climbing for 1,500 feet. Roger, contact Panama departure at 121.2, safe trip. 121.2, Echo Alpha Kilo. Misha, can you go right a little bit so I can take a picture of the bridge over the water? It looks really awesome. If I can get it like right from the tip on this side. Okay. You want to call him, Raymond? Yep. Panama, this is helicopter RCC-6, Canadian Gulf Echo Alpha Kilo. Charlie Gulf Echo Alpha Kilo, Panama advisories, maintain at or below 2,000. Maintain BFR. Staying uh, below 2,000, but they VFR, echo up a kilo. Nice. Affirmative and confirm. Final requested altitude 1,500. Charlie Golf, echo up a kilo. Yeah, 1,500 will be work well. Echo, echo up a kilo. Nice. All right. Oh, man, this is good. Look at the birds, birds. the birds, the birds, there's a few of birds, a couple of there. Echo Alpha Kilo, proceed to talk him in VOR, contact out 118.1. Echo firm the VOR, Echo Alpha Kilo. Affirmative, Tango Uniform Mike, proceed to Tango Uniform Mike VOR, contact tower 118.1. Tango Uniform Mike, 118.1. Okay. So now we're getting back into sort of the heart of Panama here. This is uh, jungle country and just absolutely beautiful. We're going to be, uh, you can see there's a bit of an inlet over there and then we're going to be getting off to the coast pretty soon. Uh, you can see there on Ruben's GPS, not too far away. And then uh, today we got another stretch out over the water. A lot of water stretches right now. Uh, we're going to do a nice, nice leg over to over the water here and then we're going to Cartagena. So that's where we're going to be spending the night tonight and um, then off to, so that's in Colombia and then off to Neva tomorrow. So that'll be interesting. So this is uh, what we've got. We've got pretty good weather. Echo oh. Alpha Kilo, Panama Radio, your present position, 37 nautical miles northeast to wow. Kumi. DME, uh, your present altitude, uh, 1,900 <laughs> feet, uh, confirmed. Wow, yes, confirmed. That's confirmed, the uh, Echo Alpha Kilo. Roger, stand by uh, this frequency for change frequency. Stand by for change, the Equifa Kilo. 
They've got really good radar service here in Panama. Oh, look at this. Yeah, wow, because they go. need to this be looking amazing. for drugs. Yeah, exactly. I guess so. I'm pretty sure they relayed that so that like if it was a helicopter that was carrying drugs, yeah. they would freak out. They'd be like, oh man, they got me on radar. Yeah. So I was, like I was saying, the uh, the cloud's not bad right now. Um, we got a little bit of lower clouds coming in front of us. Um, there's a kind of a couple of thunderstorms building up. So um, luckily we have that on our iPad. I can show you guys that here. So we can actually see where the lightning strikes are. And uh, I don't know if we have service. Yeah, so there's no... In our path right now, right here, there's no lightning strikes in our path. So that's really nice to see. Uh, that'll probably build up later on in the day. We were seeing that um, later on this afternoon that's gonna be building up, but right now it's good, which is nice because we got a short flight over there. We're gonna be there in two hours, 20 minutes. And then uh, that's the leg for today. So it's gonna be slightly shorter today. There are, I don't know if it's what whales or dolphins. What is that? That's big. Or Hey, Diogo, there's two of them. Diogo, you see them? There's three. There's, there's three. Dolphins. There's one right there. No, there's uh, whales. 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 Okay, let's are go. You let's go. Yes, whales. I don't know what kind of whales oh, those are. Oh, going down. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you guys see that right there? Go a little bit down. Oh, man. That They're is gonna cool. They're going to dip under their surface. You think so? I got a massive reflection on me right now. Uh, okay, right there, Diogo. I'm going to go through it. Look at that. Yeah, there's another right little one. Little one. There's a big one right there. Right yeah, yeah, there. yeah. I see that you one. See that, guys? Oh, uh, what this is that? Here. Look at that. What is What's that? Yogo. A dolphin. No, that's a big dolphin. What is that? Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. One more time. All right, no lower than this. That is so cool. Wait, that's a massive dolphin. If it is a dolphin. Plus, it's not really swimming like a dolphin. It's very docile. Very docile. <laughs> Amy hates when I Where say that. Where is it? Where is it? Still off to the right. I think they dipped under. Oh, there it is, there you go. Right there. They're right now. Where? Right there. Ah. I don't see nothing. Is it? Okay. All right. That was cool. That was cool. Until now. All of them. Oh, it. man. New country, you guys. We're in Colombia right now. And this looks awesome. Cartagena? Cartagena. 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 <laughs> Pretty close. Yeah, I gotta roll that G a little bit. But wow, look at the point out there, man. That is so nice. Our airport that we're going to is just off over here in front of us, which I'm glad about because uh, nice thunderstorms out in front of us. We're not gonna make it out that far. Our airport's um, not, uh, not going quite that far. We also have this nice restricted airspace that we uh, need to avoid. That's uh, this one right here. And I love the message. Let me quickly uh, pull up that message for you guys. Oh, details. Military area. In case of inadvertent penetration of this area, aircraft may be intercepted. Aircraft required to entry into airspace must uh, report 24 hours prior. Yeah, you don't uh, you don't want to fly in that without prior permission. I don't want to get intercepted. This place is really cool. I'm looking forward to checking it out. We're here pretty early. It's about noon now. Report oh, short final runway zero one. Report to uh, short, short final zero one uh, Charlie Gold fake off a kilo. We're going to have a little bit of time in exploring and then we are going to the university here and we're going to be doing a uh, presentation this afternoon at the university. So, really cool. Oh man, here we come. Nice. All right, Ruben just uh, negotiated with Millionaire with the handlers here um, to give us the handling fees for free. Some of these airports have really expensive handling fees and uh, these guys were so nice. Millionaire in, uh, in Colombia, amazing, really, really awesome. Ruben, you are in heaven right now, eh? This is Aero Support Service, look at this. Oh, this is... VIP service they right here, amazing. look at this food. Hector, oh, man. he is amazing. Hector, thank my you, friend, Hector. thank you this for everything. Amazing guy. Yeah, I recommend you. these guys here in Cartagena. Cartagena? Best Very Five nice. Five stars, Very thank good. you, man. It's awesome that we got here early. We just arrived here at uh, Allure Chocolat Hotel. Um, amazing, we just uh, checked in and these guys are fantastic. Give you a nice chocolate uh, when you enter here. The hotel's not made out of chocolate, but we are two blocks from downtown right now, uh, the old downtown. So we're gonna uh, get our things in our room, do a little bit of editing and stuff like that, and then we're gonna head old downtown and uh, explore a little bit, find some really good food, and then we've got a conference at five o'clock at the university here. So let's, uh, let's head inside, guys. 
so our we get a room ready now. Not ready? About an hour. So let's go to the seven minutes to the old city. Okay. Come back. Just sure. store this stuff. I know what this. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Colombia. I guess it's been nice to come here. Oh, that's good. Nice. Look at that. Nice food. Yeah, green, yellow, red, tropical. Redfish, something. You are? Are you? Oh. Put this thing running. We have to put this thing running. Yeah. Running. Yeah. Right. Wants to come at the uh, rainy time of year. A little bit of a storm coming through here, but uh, very nice in the downtown. Very warm as well. The hotel wasn't able to get us any laundry services, so we're just trying to find where the laundry mat is, get some of our clothes clean because we don't have a lot for this trip. So we're running out. It's time to get them clean. We are in the heart of downtown Cartagena right now, the old downtown, and we got all the shops all along here. This place is really, really cool. This is kind of like the square in the middle, and then all the shops start going this direction here. Really neat, let's go check it out. You're the it, apparently. Cartagena. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I just love these environments. This is awesome, wow. <laughs> a lot of sweet stuff, man. Look at like all the sweet stuff. Nice. I love that architecture, man. This old, like, cobblestone brick. Oh. This place is amazing, man. Yeah, this place is amazing. It's too bad you can't create walls like this, eh? Like, it has to be authentic. Like, look at there's a piece of wood in there. Yeah. That's so cool. I bet you could create walls like this. It would take a lot of work, yeah. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> wow, look at these tables. That's nice. This is my kind of place, man. This is really nice. Okay guys, so we are just now at the University of Tecnologica de Bolivar. And where are we? Cartagena, Colombia. All right, so we're about to head up front right now. There's uh, about 150 people here, and uh, we're gonna head up front and give a presentation. Me gustó muchísimo. Muchas gracias a la Universidad Tecnológica Bolívar de recibirnos. Qué bien que nos recibieron. Nosotros vamos a dar unas palmas para la Universidad. Gracias. Gracias. People are asking about the uniforms. Why are we wearing these uniforms with the captain stripes on them and our epic badge and stuff like that? Uh, really simple explanation. Uh, when you go to these airports, a lot of these airports, you're going through security all the time. Um, there's customs guys coming out to, to greet you and you get amazing, amazing service um, when you have something like this on. That's the main reason that we're doing it. Um, we get recognition as well, so they right away see that all of us are from the same thing. Um, they can read our badge and they can know that, the, that we're doing this for a purpose. Um, we've seen amazing results so far. It's been really, really awesome. Uh, people are calling Ruben, Captain, Captain, hey, El Capitan. 
and uh, all of us and, and it's been really really good so um, we were given that tip by a friend Peter who did the same trip last year and he said it just worked wonders and we're seeing this already we're only a few days into this trip and it's already making a huge difference so for all of you guys that are wondering why we're wearing these things that's why um, just up on the uh, the pool deck here at the uh, Allure Chocolat Hotel this place is just on point uh, look at this view here. So we've got a little bit of an infinity pool here. Uh, incredible view out to the harbor. Really, really nice. Uh, if you guys are ever in Cartagena, um, I would suggest this as a really good hotel. Um, it's right in the heart of downtown. You can, uh, you can do running around here. There's lots of shops. The restaurants here. This is blowing me away. This is a very sort of touristy uh, area and the restaurants are just really nice. Really good architecture. Um, I really enjoy because they've got lots of uh, old brick and stone on the walls. Like the, the really nice. The doors here. Man, this reminds me, it's a Spanish sort of uh, colony. And, uh, but all the doors, when you're running down, like the, you saw um, the, uh, the, the, um, the streets, the doors that you're seeing it reminds me of Europe and uh, just these really old like 300 uh, year old doors that are hand carved and stuff like that it's really amazing so um, uh, really awesome to see the cultures um, it's the next morning now Ruben and I just went for a run a few minutes ago and uh, and neat to see the cultures in all the different places all the people uh, Ruben's doing this test while we're running to uh, to say hello good morning to everybody and uh, get some high fives and stuff like that he wants to see what the culture is like here what people uh, what people are like um, if they're having a good lifestyle if they're not and, and we're just trying to see um, if people are just generally happy in the morning and uh, in here in uh, Cartagena we're seeing that people are very very happy and I can see why a really awesome place to live so um, I would suggest checking it out if you guys want to come down to Colombia it's really nice down here the weather is amazing it's like uh, I think it's 7 7 15 in the morning right now and it's already 25 30 degrees it's very nice a um, little bit of wind but just fantastic so uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit that notification bell so that you guys get notified when a new video comes out. I'm doing a, a video every day, six days a week. Um, and yesterday, like you saw, we did that talk at the university. We're inspiring people. I'm not uh, showing the whole talk, especially not the ones in Spanish, because um, most of my, uh, my viewers are uh, English speaking. And um, so I'm not showing a lot of those, but I will. Once we get to Quebec, we're gonna do one in English and um, it's amazing to see these young people that are just being inspired by entrepreneurship. They have awesome, awesome questions that they're asking. And um, yeah, it's just neat to, to be an inspiration, to show our experience, um, our story of where we've come from, uh, where we are now and where we hope to be going. And um, so yeah, so I hope that uh, you guys share this with everybody you know, because we wanna be able to inspire young people to pursue something that they're passionate about, work their butts off to get there, because it's not easy. Um, it takes a long time, but it's worth it when you get there. So uh, we'll talk to you guys again tomorrow from Cartagena, Colombia. Talk to you later.